So, this is an awkward thing. I wrote a big, long comment on uh, her video that she just put out. But, I'm like, so, none of this addresses the issue I have in their current observations, which have literally changed it to being, your cosmic microwave background data is just an aggregate data average of a given overtime value, possibly. And then it's like, no, but on top of it, it's like, then I have a local area which literally showcases my comment is correct about why it is local and gravitational wave acceleration influence. There's dark matter, dark energy now. Ultimately, makes their fucking aggregate average garbage. So then she goes into these two possible suggestions of uh, what could be wrong. And I'm like, they're both fucking right. Both of them are wrong. Their fucking best model is wrong. And then there's obviously something wrong with your distance measurements. Because you don't have accurate distance. You don't have anything over time. You don't have anything that's showcased and suggested. Actual Z-depth distance that's given you based upon your light observations being properly interference influenced, corrected, measured, variable controlled with also a gravitational wave propagation and possible dark matter, dark energy and quantum vacuum pressure influence over time for acceleration and deceleration methods alongside of stellar phenomena. You've effectively given me what is the equivalent of why are you believing that you should continue with what you think is anything good? You already have knowledge that gravitational waves exist. You already have knowledge that interference models exist. There's nothing that excludes astrophysics from having quantum interference of photons continue. Just because they're in space over there doesn't mean they suddenly stopped doing it. Which it's like, you think I'm out? Fuck you, you're out. You know what I mean? Like, both of these are wrong. Your distance are wrong. Your model's wrong. Both of them are wrong. And it's like, why is it important? And she goes into this, and I'm like, I'm actually angry now. I'm genuinely, like, not her. Not about her. Her video's great. It's, it's literally, it's like, okay, your observation of Gianni here, so on is garbage i'm not trying to be a dick i really am not your observations are based upon bad observational data to begin with with how it is you measure based upon a cosmic constant which isn't constant clearly because it's a 3d 4d multiple landscape you literally just proved that our current belief of this previous thing that was good is wrong. It's incorrect. It's incorrect. You know what I mean? Like, who gives a shit about it? When it was made, it could only store, we, us humans, and the telescope and all that, so much data. It could only do so much sensing. And all of that that there is. You are literally looking at old, bad data that was meant to be viewed as an aggregate average that has no place as a Z-depth in any aspect constant. Everything that this is, even their current observations, might as well be thrown out, which has made me angry. Because it's like, you spend a lot of time and money and effort, and it's wasted. Gianni, like, it's wasted effort. You are currently wasting all of your effort. All of astrophysics right now is currently wasting their efforts because they're not doing it this way. The right way. You already know about interference. You already know about given expansion 
areas. You already know how to focus. You already know how to have gravitational wave, LIGO, propagation, interference, pathways, which red and blue shift and ultimately interfere with other wavelengths to either amplify or, you know, stretch out or remove given amounts of light luminosity in given areas. Basically, everything you've done essentially says, oh, everything we've done previously needs to be thrown out now. You should do this properly, finally. And it's like, I'm angry for them. I'm not angry about them and what they're doing. I'm like, you're forced to continue bullshit that means nothing. Like, literally. Who gives a shit about what you're doing at this point? Because that's what it'll be viewed at later as. That's garbage. You deserve it to be something meaningful now. Something of value now. And it's like, we can't calculate. It's like, no, 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 no. I have a God operating system and like multiple different James Webb telescope fucking changes to their given digital and analog input data sets. I have a way better way of calculating that's much faster. I have a way better way of calculating and categorizing the given types of Z depths and local areas, which is like the only problem is it's a, it's a money issue, but also it's a time issue. Okay. It's like in about fucking five years, because this is what it's going to be. You're going to need to do this for five fucking years and you're going to have to do it three to a year length of time focused on any given amount of Z depth. Okay, and it's like you want to get it more and more accurate? You have to do more and more Z depth points, and you have to do more and more, which are focal points, areas around your initial one. And you have to stick there for long enough to see things move. See any given change in interference and influence of gravitation and other possible dark matter energy and quantum vacuum pressures. If you don't do that, it's essentially why care about what the data says? It's essentially as inaccurate as anything could ever be. It's not variable controlled. It's not accurate. It has nothing of almost speaking value. It's like correlatory data. You know what I mean? In science for like any given type of thing that's doing that and it's like all of astrophysics is essentially at this point feeling like it's based upon a bunch of correlatory i don't like that that's bullshit <laughs> you know what i mean i don't like that that's that's stupid it's clearly not it's this and that's it that's all it can be well you know classically speaking in the fermionic world but it's still what it is Because it's like, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? But who about you, right? It's like, that's immediately, right? PhD, necessary. You need this gatekeep. You need this, that, and all the rest, credibility. You need these connections. You need this money. You need all this that makes it so you can even say such things. But in reality, it's like, nah, you're wrong. Listen to something that is logical, reasonable, and makes sense. That works. Don't have your ego come into it. That's literally all that is. It's like, hey, you know what? Open-minded scientist there. Uh, go fuck yourself. Maybe you should go figure out how to shut the fuck up for once when someone that has a good idea says that idea out loud.
because it's nothing to do with her video or even G- Gianni. It's in every fucking way money and a bunch of fucking egotistical douche fucks that aren't willing to go like, we're just going to do this and for this long and then it's done and we'll calculate and be fucking finished. And then now it's just the literal best pinnacle blah, blah, blah data that we have and we can start basing it off of this until the next time it says, ah, fuck, we learned enough. Shit, throw it out. (laughs) We have to do more. And seeing, basically. Basically, that's all science in a nutshell. If you thought you shouldn't ultimately do what I'm telling you, you most likely shouldn't be considered something, at least in that moment, because of your fucking emotions right now, to be considered relevant in what it is you said. All right, simple stuff. I really doubt Dr. Becky would ever fucking actually say anything like that. It's most likely one of the various followers or subscribers or some other bullshit that I'd have a, you know, type of idea of that happening. But it, it, it's still one of those things. It's just like, this is ridiculously stupid. Like, astrophysics are being, physicists are being taken for a ride with the very things that they're being taught in school right now. It's literally my issue. Not to mention for all the fucking amount of work they do to get finances and capital for any given thing. And then a whole bunch of uh, 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 imposter and, uh, 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 you know, and I'm, uh, we should go with uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, go with me and what I said. It's the only correct way to do it from this point forward. Everything else is essentially irrelevant. You knew this. I didn't have to say this. I'm just saying the thing out loud that everybody's said in their head and minds already at this damn point. But didn't want to do. Because then it meant I didn't get this or I didn't get that or I didn't have this paper. I didn't have that paper. And I'm not suddenly the big guy. I'm not suddenly the blah, 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 blah. And all of you have to work together and all equally share what it is that was found out. Which is the stupidest thing. It's like science is supposed to be about collective knowledge. Not I am bigger and better knowledge than you. Which is what it's apparently become because of capitalism and all the rest of it. Egotistical crap. So, there you go. Currently, right now, this is what I'm seeing. And I don't really want to continue it because it's obviously triggered me. And it's like, I'm pretty sure she's going to go over a lot of cool things and I'd want to learn all about them. But it's just like, I don't know, man. I I don't know. I don't know. I'll pause this and I'll I'll let you know what I find out. So, I haven't gotten all the way through it. I'm at 525. I had to pause because I started getting really triggered again. So, there's that. But then it's like, well, okay, so what's the actual point of where gravity can start curving things back into any given observational point? I was worried about it because I was peeing and I was thinking about the great attractor. And it's like, if the great attractor is strong enough to pull a supercluster around, then it's like, what in the world for amplification and then interference pathways would ultimately allow for 93 billion light year apparently distance to ultimately not curve light back towards a given point. Just because it hits you doesn't necessarily mean that it was actually at its given furthest point. It just means that it originated somewhere else and that you thought you were looking at its furthest point, but you never did. It all curved back towards you, and there's multiple points of curvature that are now basically screwing over all of the observations we've ever done. And I'm pissed about it because it's like, Great. And then I was already angry because I was like, well, you know what? If I just had money to be able to go to school, to be able to fucking have this conversation, to be able to get the right person, blah, 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 then it's like, all right, then finally I'd be able to go like, behold. And then it's like, ah, oh, here's your data. 
go have fun, calculate, whatever, I can leave, right? But then it's like, eh, except you didn't calculate for that now. And it's like, yeah, no, but that's multiple Z axis, you know, X, Y, and then Z, right? And so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, all that fucking bullshit. As you have to observe multiple points in the sky to be able to know how much of a curvature we're experiencing in any given local area that we ultimately are observing in any given point of focal points in the Z, 4D, 3D, 4D spaces, which it's like, great. But at least now we know how much curvature, right? And it's like, no, 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 we know interference pathways. We don't know curvature until we get to enough of a Z in delta 4D distance. We get that far of a distance, finally, we should be able to know, hopefully, the cohering effects of interference light pathways with gravitational wave lensing influences and stellar phenomenon gravity influences to ultimately indicate whether or not how much curvature and then redirection with amplification and consistent maintaining of any given storage of light photonic information happens to be on its path back to us for its given curvature effects. Now, what that means is it goes to light originated in this upward trajectory. And then because bleh and side and spin blah blah and curvy worm says it did, did this towards usies. But guess what? It then did brr 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 and it broke down into these given informations. Which now means we aren't actually seeing this, except we are actually seeing that it's just a mere image mirage effect. The other information is stored with inside of it, just on a separate polarized Z and time frame axis. Axis, not access. That's right, it's a time frame axis. It's like deep field scanning horizon, whatever the fuck it was. But like you have to look at that focal point and be like, mm, because I know about the blah, 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 blah. And then eventually it's like, right, now I know what that actually is and was. Now, all that really means is like, was it really 93 billion? Or were you just looking at a great attractor area? Or some other fucking great attractor with another gravity, another gravity, another gravity lens, and another amp, and constructive, 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 polar, 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 and so on, until eventually you were like, Behold, the supermassive black hole's over there. And you were like, I was thinking I was looking at that, but actually, the answer was, fuck yourself, no I wasn't. Turns out, I always had it wrong. God damn it, this is bullshit. Damn it, motherfucker. I tried really hard to look at this spot. <sighs> that kind of problem. You know what I mean? Is I can already see astrophysics. No, 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 we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. We didn't at all. No, guys. Double the fuck down. They won't pay us money to do something again. Guys, we need to spin this somehow. We actually figured out an even better way to observe the world around us in a multiple curve like Wanted the movie. It's like Wanted the movie now. It's Wanted the movie. We curved the photon bullet right into our telescopies. With the gravitational things and all the... Golly. You know what I mean? And I have to fucking deal with that? Uh, I'm going to look at this and like people are going to be like profound and so smart and, uh, and oh my god, I'm a genius. I'm going to look at them like, I know what the fuck you're really saying, you little douche fuck. I know what the fuck you really don't have. I know that's not accurate. I know you don't know this. I know you don't know that. I know you're fucking that part up. I know you don't have these fucking masks. You guys are nowhere anymore. Which essentially means... 
Good fucking luck. That's like what? How many fucking years of calculations? I don't even have my God operating system built yet. Fucking hell. <laughs> that effectively means we're in the dark about the world around us. We just saw pretty lights and we're like, well, that's definitely a thing. And it's like, yeah, no, okay, sure. But where? Exactingly, specifically at all. At least coal stuff is near us. Yeah, well, that we could trust that a lot more. <laughs> it's what the distance is, really, at that point. It's like, no, that's for sure our galaxy. Oh, that's good. You got anything else? That's nice. You got anything else over there? Uh, what about that one? Is that one... Nice? God... Do you even know if that star is near? It should be near us. Okay. But like, do you see what I mean? I'm like over amplifying and exaggerating some of the problems. But it's like, truthfully, until you get to a certain point because of how you ultimately, with a question like that, get... Completely destroyed and stopped until you figure it out. You really don't know if that's really there. Which is a problem. It should be. It absolutely should be. I agree 100%. Truthfully. Like, that star should be that star. That's Sirius B. Okay, that Sirius B is going to be there. Uh, you know, our local super cluster, all that. That should be there, right? And it's like, uh, <laughs> uh, there's probably a lot more hidden in that than we know because of the way we can ultimately have destructive interferences that ultimately diffuse and refract into a different direction with stellar phenomenon and reflect the vast majority of it away from us we might not actually even know how dense our supercluster really is which might exactly exactingly explain why the johnny's observation because he's so great he has a phd you should definitely only listen to him i guess <sighs> it's like, well, it's slower than our constant. I'm like, I don't know, Gianni, have you considered the fucking balls I've got that says the following is not the case? It lines up perfectly with what I say, but then we don't really know, do we? Gianni. <sighs> You're so impressive with your shit, huh? PhD fucking connection, people. I can't even get my ass SSI. You think I'm gonna? Oh, I just do 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 do. Oh yeah, that's a hundred thousand debt. Woohoo! Coming over to you. Let me just. No! I have to deal with you fucking assholes. I can't even handle looking at papers. I can't read half the time. Every time I look at it, it's like, look at, look at this fucking stupid noun. Look at how pretentiously garbage this is. The pedanticness of it all. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I am so insanely the smartest. <laughs> fucking... <sighs> I know you smoke weed, bro, but could you at least try and make it seem a little able to be interpreted properly? If you can't explain what the fuck it is you're doing easily to many people, you're not that smart. I don't like it. I don't care how many big words and syllables you've got. If it takes me five minutes to read a sentence just so I can understand it, Without having to go over to various encyclopedias, dictionaries, and other garbage like that just so I can fit into your club and lingo culture. <laughs> then you probably aren't very smart. You got PhDs. <laughs> Fuck off. Fucking fuck off. Meanwhile, great attractor. There's the fucking Lana Ikea thing. There's this, that, and all the rest of it. And it's like, 
There's no fucking way we ever observed the fucking end of the universe that we can thought. There's no fucking way. At least not really realistically. Accurately. Which is bullshit. Which has now got me in a fucking tizzy. <sighs> now I'm triggered. This is what I'm going to have to deal with for like the next fucking like hour. Three hours. I don't fucking know. Fucking stupid. <sighs> This is what caused me problems, okay? You know, I'm not going to go over and be like, man, I'm going to just do my job. Do you know that there's a possibility we've never even seen our fucking Sagittarius A star correctly? And what the fuck did you have to say that for? <laughs> just fucking bagging groceries somehow with my bad back, bad knees, bad feet. Fucking, oh yeah, <laughs> No, I have never fucking... Have you ever thought about just... Just like how much more exothermic energy we're around all the time than we ever really think it's possible? It just wastes itself. The what? What is that about? What? No, it doesn't. Wait. Yeah, it's just like this magnetosphere that's a huge fucking like... I mean, we're only like a mile maybe or some shit. Like above it. You know, the fucking magma lava thing? And it's just like magnetic fields, raw. Just threw me. Birds can fucking see that shit. I can't even fucking, like, remember half my shit where it's around me sometimes. I fucking hate this. It's, it just doesn't, it boggles the mind, really, realistically speaking. How fucking stupid it is that we're like, man, we should fight for this. I don't want to have to do all that work and put in all the effort to fucking change our fucking minds. No way. <laughs> fucking tired of it. It's like, no, 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 we're not changing our minds. Come on. It's literally what that is, though. Like... It's the worst part. But it's like, okay, for our... How many galaxies of distance? That's the thing. One galaxy, we were like, Oh my fucking God, our galaxy apparently has like a galaxy in it already. Or very close to. You remember that? We were like, no, 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 it's this ours, man. Then we are like, but bro, it's actually two. They're like, no, we can observe everything around us fine. With our telescopes. <laughs> and I'm like, You didn't see a galaxy in you? <laughs> Man. Okay, what drugs were you on, bro? <laughs> yeah, they call that rape in some places. <laughs> Just letting you know. <laughs> Just letting you know. Okay. Because, holy shit, then, what is essentially any of our constants? We don't even fucking acknowledge our current constants are fixated and definitely adhering to a very localized solar system environment. <laughs> Which it's like, no, 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 but we have gravitational waves that propagate out from our planet as we rotate and then rotate around a fucking star. The fuck? We're like, no, 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 none of that matters. What the fuck are you saying, you idiot? Of course it does. What are you insane? Of course it does. We have no idea how many bunched up little fucking wave frequencies are sticking around like they're like, I'm dark energy, dark matter now. Just like I shall feed myself into whatever frequency wave you're putting out over that direction now <laughs> what a spin wave from a f massive object that's spinning versus you know it's spinning around another massive object i mean that's clearly a different wave isn't it like they've got to be a different wave this one's more of a bunched up spinny spin wave this one's more of a i swipe at you in the air wave uh, you know what I mean? This is like a thrust wave constantly blowing out, like like wind. 
And then this one's going to be like a big boom, right? And they're saying, no, 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 but I'll do you one even better. Supermassive black hole. I'm going to spin around that. So yo, yo, did you hear I was around here? Huh? Other galaxy? Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm spinning for you. <laughs> Behold, I am here. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're looking fine. <laughs> I'm attracted. Just letting them know. So there's nothing to do with the Dr. Becky thing. It literally doesn't. It's, this is genuinely how my mind works. <laughs> but I just never really do it. Mostly because I'm not usually loopy enough from not having sleep. <laughs> it's my birthday today. I'm 32 now. Just good old 32 year old. Dropped out of fucking community college. You know, standard guy. <laughs> just a standard everyday dude. You know, just doing my thing. You know. Fucking having massive disabilities and not getting anything from the government that says that I do. <laughs> can't even fucking, like, focus on college. Are you kidding me? I can't even get my shit together to do my regular day work. <laughs> getting shit. Anyways. Then it's like, alright, so then, I don't know. How long of a distance? How many different ultimately destructive to constructive outward bound 360 degree light photonic waves are going to be there that propagate and then amplify in a constructive manner that still keeps the given information of where they effectively were coming from. But it's like, no, 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 I don't give a fuck about coming from. I don't care about that. I care about if it was that star photons. I, that's what I really care about. Like, if the information is this and it's going to be that star and it got curved and it was enough of that that then ultimately get sent to us, then we're only looking at that bottom over there to the right or to the left star. It's like where it came from? I, you know what I mean? What I care about is whether or not it has the signature of this given type of interference profile. Because if it's that star, it should have this given interference profile. Because it's a 360 degree field of view, which effectively means it's like, by the way, point at that, wherever the fuck it is. That's a given diagonal, which should be able to ultimately look directly at this. And then gain an understanding as to whether or not that wavelength with all the given blah 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 blahs that I just talked about made any damn sense. For the mirage bend. But it's like, it's actually more complicated because it's more of a thermodynamic gravitational interference lens, which is literally what's on my video for the Lemke Principle Phaser Laser Array. It's a constructive lensing system that uses a different type of. What did I just talked about it? Um, polarized, polarized, that's what it was. Polarized lensing systems. But then they destroy themselves ultimately. But it's like, I didn't really destroy myself, man. I put my energy and wavelength that I was at over to your energy and wavelength. And I was like, yo, bro, I like you. I'm going to be you. Then I was all like, oh, right, yeah, no, bosonic? It's bosonic. Bosonic? Light can be bosonic. How much light pressure is there in the universe? You know, we never think about it, but it's like, what's gravity? And then it's like, there's this amount of light, and then there's neutrons around? Just like fucking hanging out? It's like, what is this? Like, honestly, what is this? Like, it's a, you think it's not bosonic, but it's like we're in a soup of fucking light that we accelerate towards. It's like, there's no detection method for the given amount of density. You go like, luminosity, right? It's like, pfft. No. That's like, direction and then ultimately, what collapses to what you see. You see what I mean? Like, this, this is the problem I end up having with people. Light can just go through things. Especially when it's bosonic. It's a superfluid. 
there's no way that you're getting that I'm talking about a liquid superfluid light. That's why I use the word super. Especially when there's neutron density pressures with gravity interacting with the both of them. That's not even getting into the fields in between, which are magnetic filaments and electrostatics. Oh, they can't possibly look like they're going that given distance. Are you fucking for real, idiot? Fuck face douche. You have neutrons everywhere. Light as a bosonic. You effectively have conductive everything around you. Which essentially means, wrong again. Stop being incorrect over there, astrophysics. Sit down. I'm fucking tired of that one. You know what I mean? It's like, no, 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 we're not even going to fucking posit this out to the layman's guys and gals. There's got to be some super fucking genius PhDs out there that know a thing or two about the separation is not so separate when you really think about how quantum should be also being very much interactive in the astrophysics. They're like, fucking what? You know, when I... <laughs> This is boring. It's boring to me. It's it's like, no, this isn't even a hard problem. It's just do this. This is simple as fuck. Like, just do that. That's how you examine it. Just use these pressures. Just use these given... You know what I mean? And it's like, those are expected variable values I commented on our video before. Which most people probably didn't even get because I didn't write it all out for every single possibility. They were only going to go for this given amount and not go the extra mile to think a little bit past the given comment. And do more. Like they should have. But it's like, I can't... Can, how many... What's the um, amount of... Uh, does light start to become something with mass? It acts like mass, you fucking... Oh my god. Especially when you have electron filament collapse, attract, repulse. Not to mention, electrons still have mass. Look at me and my... Have we really done enough work over here for the fucking dark matter, dark energy? Are you sure? I haven't seen a single bit of that really being there. Do we really need to modify that? I mean, hey, you know what? There's this thing called electromagnetic and electrostatic photon changes. In tube TVs, anyone? Fucking retards. See what I mean with the tubes? Ugh. There's tubes everywhere, man. It's in the tubes. It's in the tubes. Meanwhile, me. Frequency. Tune on into the frequency. It's a bunch of fields and frequencies as you go around. And there's some spots that are a little bit harder than others. Literally. That's about it. It's pressures, man. It's all about pressures and frequencies and fears. Oh, my. Granted, that's no way, shape, or form actually my total, like, how I look at it. But if you get there, you're pretty far. <laughs> Usually. Like, if you can get at least to that point, then you, at least you're pretty far. <laughs> you're not really that far because it's like, you didn't even get to, like, tunnel. You didn't even get to, like probabilistic pressure information uh, changes, you know, like, like pressure information waves, man, or then this frequency that then collapses over here, like that given type of frequency, which then makes a quantum foam event, make it seem like there was something there, but it's all just virtual, bro. I got this quasi inkling of this possibility, and oh, I came out. Nobody thinks about it, you know what I mean? It's a problem, but that's still pressure.
You know what I mean? It's still pressure. It's like, no, no, no. I don't even want to look at the fourth dimensional entropedic valuation of that given probabilistic outcome in a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, pretty much practically infinite. It depends on how long of a distance and what given wave structures and all the rest that are influenced by each other. Starts getting me really hot and bothered when I go like, what's up, astrophysics? Oh, you're super smart, huh? Are you? How about this problem? You got this problem going on, you know? Yeah, but how about, did you ever think like maybe this given type of neutron with this given, you know, gravity and then this electrostatic, which then collapses with this photon amplification of constructive given the electrostatic collapse to a given it, blue shift because, of course, it, well, it can't travel faster. But it's like, no, 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 I have this gravity over here that just came through that says, no, 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 <laughs> space isn't actually that big. I went this distance. So, you know, that would solve one of your fundamental flaws in your constants. A dynamically changing constant value that's never actually constant, but then you can aggregate data values off of a given observable universe, basically until the point where you get, like, this should be the given rough frictional constant. And pressure, vacuum, and forward plug drag kind of thing as you move through it. Which gives you this given influential three-dimensional, four-dimensional, or the rest of dimensional values, as it's going to entropedically only have various probabilities of least resistance to travel through, which is a, in my universal law. In my YouTube video. It's eight hours long, but still. Let me just describe something so blasé, like it's so easy. I, I can't even, you know, eight hours. Are you kidding me? I don't... I could do it in like five. I don't need eight hours to describe the universe. Five. We just get this fucking nur, 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 wink, wink, wink out, you know, somehow. No, obviously you need some time to fucking describe and explain that, but like fucking hell. You know, I don't want to sit through a video. This guy's a no name, nothing baby boy. Meanwhile, I'm just having a blast. Really, honestly, I'm trying to fucking stem myself. I need to take my dog outside. I don't want to go outside. I'm just fucking triggered as fuck. It's just like, oh, okay, what's with the line? I can't even think. You don't even know the amount of actual fucking value, do you? Do you? Do you know how much actual forces in the quantum realm are genuinely in an astrophysics level capacity moving things and influencing and ultimately interacting? And interfering with each other. Creating another version of pressure as it'll go outwards instead of inwards as they attract. That's constructive. You know, and constructive means, well, there used to be this place I could be. But it ends like, no, 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 I've now become with this, constructively. So there's an empty area here, and it goes, oh, sucky, sucky. And it's like, what do you know? Shocker. Things move to that spot because there's space available now. Oh, fucking God, indeed, right? No, I never really thought about it like that. I'm an astrophysicist, blah, 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 fuck off. Why? Why are you considered smart and not me just because I don't have the fucking qualification and certificate crap? This is retarded. I'm not smart. You can't see that? I have to explain shit like this to you? This is stupid as fuck, man. I hate it. Seriously. I do. It's like, do you even know how many radio waves are definitely, most likely, not radio waves? Or microwaves, for that matter. They're bosonic. You have no fucking idea. That's not even getting into quarks, gluons, electrons, septons, leptons, all the tons. Got all the tons up in here. 
I gotta get the Trons out now. Those are the bigger ones. Fucking stupid shit. You know, it bothers me. Because it's like, that wouldn't even be accurate. Like, I'm literally describing to you all how you will bridge the gap to make it actually an accurate observation. In every fucking way, what you're gonna do with that comment is not accurate. You didn't even do enough. No, no, I shall now become the big boy, the big girl, the big one. I stole this guy's comments and now I am the big guy, the big gal, the big dude. I thought about it differently. I am now smart from a guy's comment that is way smarter probably than I am. Maybe about me. What? Are you kidding me? Another stolen one bites the dust as it travels down the six degrees of separation to the person that ultimately goes and goes, maybe we should thank you for this. Instead of, no, no, I got it from this guy. This guy, Grey Life, who's, who's actually seen on reality. This is his name. It's even in a title. I don't want a platformer support you! I mean, you're trying to get on Social Security income. You're on food stamps. I should just steal whatever I want from you. I'm bigger and better. Fuck you. I hope you die. Fuck your ass. <laughs> Jesus. You know what I mean? But it's like, is that really going to happen? It's happened before. <laughs> I was in Scott Manley's stream. I was the one that suggested the little rainbow, whatever the fuck it was called. That was multiple little lens for a solar... Fucking, not solar, telescope. It's like rainbow something. I forgot what it was. But it's like, I was the one in the stream. My name's Blurgy Payson in that stream. That was a few years ago. I closed that account. Meanwhile, oh, it shows up in a fucking video. No mention of me. There's some NASA scientist. Some NASA scientist. NASA. NASA. I'm like, really? Teach me to fucking comment. Oh, there's one guy around that's fucking around that's just like, hey guys, have you ever thought about this? Hey, I'm trying to be positive, pushing the P. I'm pushing P, man. I'm doing the whiz. <laughs> you know. Doing a whiz. <laughs> Fucking being positive. Like, here, have you guys ever thought about that? Why don't you think about that? We already know about the gravitational effect. No, you don't. You don't know anything about it. You have no idea. You, you look, mm, your three dimensional is garbage. Your fourth dimensional is shit. Everything about what you get for all you have kinetics doesn't mean in any way that you've ultimately changed anything. Your kinetics are garbage. You have no idea what it means to have the pressures ultimately informationally change and where that's going to ultimately alter and how it is that it will affect it over distance and time. It's like, you've changed nothing. You're not that smart. I must now defend my ego. You've gotten nowhere with me. <laughs> you have no idea how much you've definitely changed everything, you fucking retard. Who's saying that? I'm like, you don't even know how neutrons, ultimately, in a collapsing electrostatic filamental, that's right, with the electromagnetic filaments, change ultimately where are those photons and how those photons end up looking. You have no real clue what the real wavelengths are. Fucking radio waves? Are you kidding me? How much has ultimately not ever been a radio wave? It's just expanded because of the given interaction profile. And then it's like, I collapse now into this given wavelength of light that's over there. Coming through. That's right. Do you even know where anything is at this point? I changed your game in no way, re-fucking-tard. I changed your game so fucking hard, you must be fucking wearing the dunce cap now. Go sit in the corner. Go sit in the fucking corner and think about what you did, bitch. Fucking stupid.
Are you kidding me? It accelerates things. Us. It can also decelerate us. There's a given resistance. I fucking, I fucking hate this shit. It's like, you have no fucking clue what your actual data says. Because you've never had actual data. You don't know what it is that you've got because it's not anything that you've actually even understood how it works together and have. Like, at least this is a classical instance of a gapping of a given quantum physics phenomenon. Manon. In a massive light year distance effect. Like, remember what I talked about? I primed you. I did it. With the magnetosphere, and then there's the atmosphere of charge differentials. The densities of our given pressure of atmosphere, babies, changes the wavelength frequencies. And you're like, no, no, it can't be happening cosmologically at all. Fuck your ass! Are you shitting me? You're a retard! Shut up! You... You shouldn't have a PhD. Take that person's PhD. Fuck that shit. Take that person's PhD now. <laughs> Fuck that shit. You have been here by, by me who has none and is definitely not in your little defense blah 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 thing. Removed from it. That's why you're stripped. You're gone. Disqualifications all up in there. Fucking dumbass. You don't get to talk anymore till you do work. Shut the fuck up. This is where I'm at. This is literally where I'm at now. I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure it doesn't affect it? Why? What makes you sure? You fucking fuck up what makes you sure. Have you fucking ever considered any following outside of yours? You egotistical fucktard. My big brain move over here is continuing along with bad science. Look at me, I'm so smart. Fuck! Fucking no! What about politics? Fucking politics! Holy fucking... I'm gonna go over to corporations. They're terrible. That's a fucking influencer. Where is there to go? What is there left? It's always bad everywhere you look. It's the worst. They'll always be continuing garbage. I need more money. I need more resources. You have a fuck ton. What are you saying? No. You have a hoarded, you little douche fuck. I hate you so much. You have not enough manpower. Where are you going? No, I don't want to do the calculations, daddy. No. <laughs> fuck you. Wham. You're going to do those calculations. <laughs> Fucking kneecap your ass. <laughs> Chain him! Chain him to the desk! Get the whiteboard! Get it! What is done now? Fucking dumb. Oh, so stupid. Uh, they're allowed to do it! They just give you money! And they tell you you won't live anymore if you don't do it. They, 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 they just don't have, like, the handcuff and stuff. But realistically speaking, they do. Ouchie! Is it too real? Is the tea too real today? Is it too real? Did you not like it? Fucking suck my goddamn balls. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. That's the truth. It's the fucking truth. It's the truth. Fuck off. It sucks. Everything is bad. I want out. I want to die. I want out of this fucking stupid shitty shit show. I want out. It's a circus clown fuckerino. I want gone. I'm like dick, 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 dick. scepter and hat, scepter and hat. 
How come nobody's over here? <laughs> fucking stupid bullshit. <laughs> it fucking work better if I ran the shit. <laughs> you know that. Boom! Kick you in there. Fuck off. That's what happens when people don't fucking listen. <laughs> You're gonna do the best you can fucking do all the time. You're gonna get all your fucking needs taken care of. Even sex and shit. You have all that you need, really, realistically, but we're gonna get this shit done. Okay, you fucking fuck-ups. You're gonna shut the fuck up and sit down finally. You're gonna fucking listen to something other than your own egotistical garbage. You're gonna have more than enough to be able to explore all your little creative avenues of approach for solving this goddamn puzzle that needs to be fixed. I hate this puzzle. Puzzles suck. I hate puzzles. I fucking hate them. You're gonna fucking get this done. Ah! Fucking no! I don't wanna! You don't wanna? Hmm? Okay. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. You're gonna go with them. What is that? That's the little tiny colony over there of fucking don't wanters. They all have to fucking figure it out with themselves. Nobody's gonna get any fucking anything. It's all capitalistic garbage. <laughs> they have to fend for themselves. Nobody shares anything. Nobody gets anything done together. It never works. They always die quickly and painfully and with lots of suffering. <laughs> oh, you don't wanna go to that place? Really? Here, here's three weeks. Have fun. In three weeks, let me know. Tick tock, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, now we have all of the shit. <laughs> Fuck your stupid idea, PhDs. Who has something to make this fucking get fucking figured out? Oh, so you know in reality here, this guy. Oh, hey, hey, me. Oh shit. <laughs> Anybody got anything better than that guy? I didn't fucking. Th I'm not hearing any fucking new in the comment anything yet. Nothing. Fucking hell! <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're going with me then. Headmaster says so, or whatever the fuck it is. Right, circuit master, fucking showmaster, show, whatever the fuck it is. I don't care. Let's do a show stopping fucking definite. Oh yeah! Moment, guys. Come on, we've got it done. We got it done. We got it done. We're getting it taken care of finally. Do you see it? Is it easing off? There's more than enough share. There's more than enough to go around. We're going to get it done, finally. We're going to step-by-step solve all and each and every fucking one. And eventually, as we aggregate all the stupid little fucking data points and then get a mean average and keep working and working and working and get more and more accurate observations, we'll eventually go like, for sure, do, 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 boo, 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 and write the damn math and we're like, boom, yeah, we got it. We fucking don't have to be by the river no more. In a van. Dead damn. Fucking someone actually cares and David Spade's like, no, nah, I don't really fucking wanna. That's right. We're gonna get it fucking done finally. And nobody's gonna be bigger than others. Suck it up. I don't care. Deal with it. Well, you run the show. Shut up. I'm not bigger than you. Well, actually, you're pretty short. But, like, you know, just because I'm six foot four, that means nothing. <laughs> That's fair. You're taller than me. You're sitting down, right? No, I was standing. Oh, okay. I don't know who that is. Just fucking imagine that was a good joke. <laughs> so I can... Jeez! Right? But wouldn't that be exactly what we need? Hey guys, let's fucking brute force this problem. What do you need? What do you need? This, that, that, that. You all work on this, this part. Boom. It's like, that's what we're doing. No, you're not. You didn't all together sit the fuck finally down and go, this is what we definitely need to be able to accurately do as best we can. Measure these things. And we're going to agree with this. We'll then use that, and we'll agree with that, and then we'll do, nah, 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 nah. and it's like these are the possibilities. We'll work on the fucking possibilities over here, and then we'll fucking get it done over time. Progress over time. Fucking pot methods. 
Jesus Louisos. <laughs> Meanwhile, I want money. Oh, I schmooze, schmooze, schmooze. Still no? Why? <laughs> Will you give me my own? Oh, no. No, -uh, I'm getting nowhere. <laughs> This is shit. I'm just gonna be a like smart, and then I'll make a lot of money over here, and I'll do nothing with that, cause like this is easier. <laughs> Great, super. Anyways, the trigger and uh, whatever, and blah, <laughs> fucking blah. I'm just gonna fucking pause this. I'll actually like properly watch all of that, and I'll come back. So. I went and took my dog for a walk, and got angry again about oh, people. No, the MHD drive can't possibly work that way. It's a Lorenz force. I'm like, it is a spark gap. It's an expansionary design. It literally burns the very fuel you're creating. It creates an oscillatory pump. It then creates a different Limke principle type of force. And I'm going to be really direct about this because I want to talk about it because of Dr. Becky... In her video, a Z pinch current happens to when a spark expansionary force with a baronic style of light density happens to create an expansionary and then directionary acceleratory force. It's always been happening. It's effectively kind of different than your idea of a quantum vacuum pressure. It's not any vacuum. It doesn't accelerate really anything, but you know what it does do? It makes light suddenly be amplified for a given light interference path. It also suddenly creates new light. You didn't know. But you know what light happens to do when it's around the right little lensing systems? Like I talked about for Plasma Channel's MHD system. Creates a pulse that happens to be an acoustic resonance pump. As it'll unify, it creates two vortexes. One that happens to be larger than the other and they collapse, canceling themselves out towards a singular unified direction. As they don't Lorenz force anymore because there's no perpendicular bra. It's not a Hall effect, it's a Limke principle effect. It's always been going on around us. That's my last name. That's why I call it that. That's why I know it is that. Because I know it's that. You're like, no, you can't possibly know things. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure throughout this entire video, I have discovered in no way, shape, or form anyone that has managed to figure out just how intelligent I really am. It's like you're saying a big, I need to fucking go after you now. My insanely egotistical narcissistic personality disorder says I need to push down anybody because of my defensive personality. And it's like, no kidding. You and like basically everybody ever raised in America. A lot of the world. It's fucking retarded. Held back, hindered shit. Firing incorrectly, man. Because it's a spark gap. It's like, no, no, if I layer with the given type of glass and metal with the electromagnetic layering that aligns the given metal particles with the glass that I can 100% layer together with it. It means I remove all deterioration of the given design. I then create multiple little tiny spark gaps with inside of it and create a, another electrostatic and perpendicular Lorenz force style, I suppose is what they want to go with, but it's not. Because his is magnetic. 
But you know what I use for the fields he doesn't ultimately get to use? With the spark gap and standard electrostatic forces that are already there. A collapsing, vortexing field of that magnetic field that turns it off and sends it in a uniform direction that has an opposing collapsing field that sends the expansionary burnt fuel in the same direction with the given light reflective capacity of the given internal diameter shape and the light LED is already shining there and the spark gap that's already in the material to force a inertial confinement optical tweezer like effect to the given fields because ya bra ya heard of the to TV now they're not technically opposing but there is a virtual of one that is going against it which happens to sink into the given direction which I call a not entangled not anything like that it's an attractive force it's a virtual that's around any given field as the vortex happens to spin the right way and technically speaking exists right there for that given moment that happens to be a now I am seen as a particle doing this thing thing which then means I have a virtual collapse attractive force for that given field for the given virtual particle that's really a field that's going to collapse that way anyways and give a push to its given direction did you know that that always happens with the baronic influences of light and electrons and electrostatic and all the rest i just modeled as mhd basically off of what i view astrophysics phenomenon as an occurring. I see it all the time, in my mind. Can't you just get on my level and imagine it the same way? Why are you not at my level? Why are you challenging me as if you are? Right? But that's for others that would maybe make that comment. If they were idiots, Fuck up, retards. It's like, guess what? I have a virtual neutron that happens to be considered that I am a neutron in this given area because, like, I basically made a virtual field of other neutron pressures that happen to save that given informational data, such as I am a neutron here. When it collapses, it then creates, I've now done the thing. I exist. And I'm excelerating. I've curved light. I've then produced non space existence that's right space doesn't exist there because of course there's something there now before there was something that could fit in there now it can't fit there what does it do everyone it sticks with it thank you because it's baronic that's right it's baronic states of matter even though it doesn't have mass well now i have mass i'm a neutron that's right, I just solved your quantum fucking stupid energy and matter, bitch. It was neutrons all along, douche fuck. Why did you just get on my level? Why don't you just fucking support me? Fucking hell! <laughs> fucking dicks. You guys are ratchet as fuck indeed. Do you know what I mean, man? I'm just shaking and baking, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, you asked it. Like, what do you want? I'm just shaking and baking. I'm dancing. I'm trying to fucking keep myself awake. I'm not really technically supposed to just stay awake at night. <laughs> I'm trying to get my sleep schedule on, on point. But I woke up at like 3 p.m. or some shit. 
like 3, 4 p.m. They made other videos where I had espresso later. So there's that going on. And I am stimulated because I fucking hate things right now. Triggered. It's a whole problem. It's like, yeah, that's basically neutron stuff. It's like, oh, did you come up with this? Yeah, no, a long time ago. Back when I lived with my parents in Chandler. That was about like 2015 to 2015. 17. Around that point. And I kept thinking about it more. I was like, well, it works, but it's not going to account for everything. But it's like acceleration of a given mass towards how many how many states of light. I mean, ah, it's, it's just pressure, bro. And it's like, ah, no, 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 but a little bit. It's weakly interacting. I mean, how fast are they really going, bro? So you'd be surprised. The ones that you actually get are the ones that are going that fast. They usually split, though, for what's worth, because the baronic states of matter don't like to do, I'm accelerating so fucking fast. Especially when there's a bunch of other shit that was around. So it's like, no, I will now split into multiple different types of quark state matters that pop up in quantum foam land. And then I have more light as I'm radio waves or any other fucking version, which is the quantum energy, bro. But it's like, it's only a percentage of it for what it's worth. For what I've calculated for. Because it's like when it's traveling that fast, there's a given type of membrane field effect. As it curves space and time, it gets really, really close together. Membrane possibilities on the other side have fields. As a result, they get really, really close and they will definitely interact, interfere with each other, and ultimately create a given type of pressure and drag which then elicits usually a bit of a tunnel effect to our side in Nickel Woods. And then they're like, I'm around, and I guess I can potentially be like a anything thing. You can just dump it in. Man, they're so angry. People that never thought about that. Losers. Just being intentionally pointy and stabby. The losers, losers. They always say that to me. They, no one likes you either. <laughs> yeah, I have to care about that for some reason. Well, people will be weird to you or something. Uh huh, sure. I care. I was homeless, fucktard. I don't give a fuck. I look like I'm a regular person. They, and I'm near them. They look at me like I'm scum of earth. Fucking, you don't even understand how fucking animalistically garbage all of you really kind of tend to be. Yeah. No, no, I shall look at it. I can't find my gun. I'm ashamed. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, disgusting. Grow a backbone. Anyways, moving on. Because it's like, all right, all right. But that's not actually the whole story of that. You see, light is going to be created because it's not perfectly within its center and it's around. So, like, it starts bursting, but also aligning based upon the given types of profiles of different wavelengths and interference pathways alongside of relativistic properties of what's kind of going on in terms of around that given area. Which then turns it into, I have decided to do the Lemke phaser laser principle. I have coherented and then refracted and then diffracted into lensing, and then I polarized and collapsed out of my superpositional quasi like state into, I am now definitely this photon doing these things. I was here all along. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, I definitely didn't disappear here. I was always here. That's how this works, you know. I was never not always here. Meanwhile, I'm like, you know how fucking much supermassive black holes, stars, and other things do this constantly? Why do you think there's a ring constantly there after a while? Especially with the amount of goddamn tunneling it happens to be constantly having to do. It's like, it's always there. It's a Lemke principle. It's simple. 
There's no Lorenz force. It's a brand new type of physics! Except not really, it's, it's more just a combo of uh, chromo and uh, electro and thermo. And the strong and uh, electromagnetic. Interacting with the gravitational standard stuff, right? Of course, there's a weak particle there. <laughs> Whatever. It's not that bad. It's the pressure. It's like, I have potentially solved all of your given dark matter, dark energy, light interference, gravity, boom, the one, boom, 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 the fat. You guys are retarded, honestly. I need to have massive Teslas to be able to do that. No, you have a shit ton of fucking pressure. What are you talking about? You don't need any of that. It's already accelerating that direction. Are you a fucking retard? Looking down. Oh my god! Did you just fucking call me, like, perfectly as to what that could definitely, most likely be instead of what I want it to be? Because you're fucking genius and I don't like the fact that I'm jealous of you and you make me look insignificant. And I've been working my ass off all the time. And, like, I've never gotten anywhere near that. Maybe on me. I have to deal with it every fucking day. Every day, every fucking day, this is what I have to deal with. They're like, no, you're not that smart. <sighs> like, I'm fucking a genius, bro. I know I am. It doesn't change I have disabilities. I can't work. It doesn't change that I'm not like an Einstein that can go over to the fucking, with the opportunities I had and the money I had to a college to be able to make that happen, especially when it's misogynistic and he gets a special privilege, more or less as a result of that. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a stupid shit show. It's like, you should! I can't even do homework. I've never done homework ever. I hate homework. Fuck homework. I can't even do classwork. I'm like, no, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. So these are the names you wanted me to know? This is the name? Oh, it's that fucking... It's this guy's last name, I guess. It's this particular on. It was that particular Tron. This is the type of extra special quirky wise, gluonic wise, matter wise. I don't feel like anything you have is over there being worthwhile for me to look at. It's like, no, you must put them all in one mountain. Your math is crap. What the fuck? Is, this is just a programming language. This is a symbol for this symbol, and, the blah, 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 and it's just like down the line, and it's like this. There's the input any values, and it goes and does that. What the hell are you teaching me? I could do that with fucking any computer. What the hell's the point? It just describes a series of fucking calculations. Any of those stupid things. It's stupid. It's retarded. I, I look at it and I'm like, so he wanted a trident. That's what he wanted? Okay, fine. It's a trident. Then, I guess. It's like, no, let me get over here. I'm a fucking big guy. <laughs> No, it's all of a sudden like that. And it's like, okay, what does it really describe? Explain. Chop, chop. What does it explain? Choppity fucking chopper, bro. Come on. I have things to do. Stuff to see. I don't fucking care about it. You're boring. Have you figured it out yet? I want to go fuck things and do shit. I want to make stuff. I want to go around and do things. I don't like that. I like sitting around and doing whatever the hell that is. Meanwhile, 
Party, party, this song, this song, this comedy, 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 this story, 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 story. I saw something like this. I was like, okay, fine. I was just like, this, this, that, this, this, that, this, this, that, this, 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 that, that, this, this, that, this, that, this, this, that, that. How about, did you consider these, these, this, that, this, that, and these, like I just did in this video, over time? No, I don't know, I can't, blah, blah, But it's still pretty cool. I'm glad you got that far. But, you know, whatever. It's cool. Is it that bad? I mean, it's so simple to me. It's not hard. It's, it's really not. I mean, you know what's hard? Fucking get myself to brush my teeth consistently. I can't fucking do that. You know what's hard? Remember where the fuck I put things. What am I supposed to do today? I don't even know what the fuck I was supposed to I have literally no clue. <laughs> like, did I have to take my humor today? I should look that up. Like, right for Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do the beard scruffing cream things. It's soft still. I'm supposed to eat that. That gives me these vitamins and nutrient things. That's right. That's what I'm supposed to do. When's the last time I had water? Fucking hell. Has it been like three hours? Holy fuck! Three hours? It's been three hours. The fuck? Can I go fucking walk over there? No, your fucking foot's throbbing and you're limping. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I should pay attention to that. Why am I not noticing that? What are you, waking up? Yeah, fuck off, bitch. Ow, ow, I should have fucking, fucking damn it. The joints! Why does my head pound? Everything pound. All the pounding pain. Can you remember words or sentences? Not really. Once I say it, I'm out. Don't even try. I don't even give it a shot. I'm like, whatever, I don't care. I said it. Whatever. What are you, saying something to me that means nothing? I have to do that? Can you say it like this? No. <coughs> Fuck off. No. Nah. Not really gonna shit. I don't have guns. But it's just like, that's a trigger. Hey, how about this and that and this and then maybe if you didn't and then and then and then and then Oh, I'm fired. Well, you know, I probably might. That's not gonna work for me. Can you hold your tongue? No. Why should I? You're fucking scum. Fuck off. <laughs> you wanna try? You wanna try and treat me with respect? Fuck you. Little insignificant fucking worm. Let me tell you how insignificant you really are. Do you know how literally insignificant to all things you really, truly, truly speaking are? The grand scheme of all of this, the society that we all live in, you know what I mean? As if I'm not, right? Look at you. Look at you and your little tiny taste of power. Look at this. That's all you got. I hacked this. I did this with my government allowed. I did this with my wage cuck slaves that I'm allowed to whip. You're all the fucking same. You're all doing the same problems. You ever notice that? Like, I complain about this. Well, what about this, 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 and that? That leads to those things. What? No. No, 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 no. No, because we need that leaf. It's a it's ephemeral, sure, but it's a potential value. Oh, okay. All right, I hold this rock above your head. It's a big boulder. It's a whole fucking mountain. Let's just say that. All right, but it's not really there. But I say it's really there. Do you get afraid? If I tell you it's really there by having somebody like kind of push you on your head, do you suddenly think it's there? You're worthless, you're valueless. 
It's literally the fact that a lot of people don't want to fucking actually do things together. They don't like this, I don't like that, and I'm going to continue making sure to teach and train and educate people to never fucking ever work together and put aside differences and do the thing. I shall be the big boy. I shall be the big girl. Do you see how insignificantly small you really are? You create your problems, you complain about your problems, you make the problems, and then you complain some more about the problems you made. Then, as you go about your daily life, you go, that guy's not different in any way to me, but then, all oh, but that time, now they very much are, and my hypocritical cognitive dissonance states that I'm allowed in now every way to go after them. Raise this way, think this way, have this data set value, growth like this, decision-making skill trees, weighted neural networks like that. This given information, this blah, 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 over time, and it's like, what do you know? You're like this. Shocker. These are your opportunities. These are your given personality traits of given weighted increases thanks to your DNA and your DNA rate expressions and the opportunities and your education and what you had in your given area and what you were exposed to over a given formal forming milestone points in your life. But you know, you're this. But it's like, no, I adhere to this given type of personality, tree, skill, blah, blah. I am this bubble kind of thing. I like this, blah, 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 blah. And I like the tribies and the culty wats and uh, go after that. It's like, what do you know? You're all the same. What do you fucking know? At least I acknowledged it. At least try to do things better. Fucking doing the same fucking problem again and again and again. I at least acknowledge that I don't have the abilities of others. I don't fucking lie to myself in the mirror. No, I can do that! And then I feel bad and guilty about it later. Oh, I could do that! Oh, I. My so stupid, man! I mean, just nerd and derpeter. I could make all this money, but blah, 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 blah. Look at me with my super. I can do that. And it, it, uh, uh, oh, I didn't. Well, I didn't even try. I am the scum. I am the worst. Yeah, fuck off. Just admit you can't do something. Jesus, fuck. Get over it. What the hell's the problem with you? Why can't you admit that you can't do something? Oh, right. America and the rest of the world, really. No, I must say that I can't positive that I think, ding, the overconfident bullshitterinos to my ego that I need to have, so that way I don't feel... What? What's so wrong about being accepting of yourself? Be self-aware, you know what I mean? What the fuck is this? What the fuck's your problem? What the hell's the point, you know what I mean? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's, it's just fucking admit you can do this or you can do this or you, you're good at this or whatever the fuck. It's just because they said, eh, I don't like that. It's like, bah! fucking kick them out. Who gives a shit? You don't need them. They're toxic. They're negative. They're crap. Nothing about them's good. Fucking whole world's better off without them. I'll change for you! Alright, I'd like to see it. Keep at it. Keep going. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, doing it again. Right back to the same fucking pattern. Insignificant. Lies. What do you know? Betrayal. Oh, shocker. Yet again. Shocking shocker. Pow, pow, pow. Literally. Fuck off. I don't give a fuck about you. I hate you. I wish you were all dead. You guys are garbage. You literally ruin all things. Being that way. Narcissistic, sociopathic, psychopathic, gabagoo stuff. Manipulative. Pretend. Insignificant. You know damn well what you're doing. You don't care. You're not going to change. You don't want to. You like to complain. You like it to make in every way no sense and it's somebody else's problem. You enjoy that. You enjoy the torture and suffer of others. But you're fine with going through it to be able to do that. But like, imagine if you could switch that fucking shit to make it so things were better. God, wouldn't everything be better? Fucking hell. But it's like, no, you can't, because of course they'll always resist it. You can't switch, they don't want to, it's not a thing. You have to do the radical acceptance, man, in therapy, and realize your abusers and traumatizers 
and you can change for you just because it would make it better. Just murder them. Get rid of them. You're talking about murder! Okay, let me just go over here into eugenics land and some stem cell therapy. Psh, psh, into your brain here. Mm -mm -mm. Now you're more empathetic and sympathetic. Now you definitely care and will try and do these things instead of those things. You're going to live for uh, the rest of your life doing that. Helping others and making things better. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't do nothing. No, 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 no. Prove it. Right? What's your fucking real option? I have to live with them? You're not living with them. You're suffering with them. Insignificant. Insignificant as fuck. I control this amount. I represent the blah, 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 blah this man, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Old world, still less. Still shit. Hasn't changed. Grow fucking some goddamn amount of movement in progress towards better. And maybe I'll tell you that that's... You're good. You mean something. Anytime you want to do that, you know? Meanwhile, me. Here's a way to literally change and make everything better. Multiple different ways and solutions and how to make that happen. They're easy and manufacturable in such a way that it's really super cheap and easy. I guess you'll just have to suck it the fuck up. Oh, I don't see you doing anything. You don't know anything about me. I just said this. So that way I can get that trigger. <laughs> Chime in. Chime in. Meanwhile, I'm like, okay, whatever. Who gives a shit? Like, maybe, I'm, I'm not a peon. Have you heard someone today so you feel better? Have you judged someone so that way you think that you're better than someone? You're doing it to me most likely, right? Sizing me up. That's not normal behavior in a fucking good society. You wouldn't have to care. You just automatically just be better in no way and accept that. You like just being yourself. Different in these aspects, might be more talented or better, or whatever it is, but you are not better inherently. You'd be like me, not you. Meanwhile, I can't believe I know you're fucking crocodile tearing, you're fucking stupid sociopath. Shut up. Oh, look at the smile, what do you know? That's why they always smile. It's always a smile with them. Every time. They can't even train themselves out of it. They'll always smile. That's how you know. It's always a tell. It's a neurological tell. You can't get rid of it. They're those kinds of people. It's like, no, I must go after these. What are you fucking talking what, what, what? What? Why don't you ever address the internal problems that makes you fucking feel like that'd be a good idea? What are you... As if I have internal problems. Okay, you don't? All right, so then you're just that thing. They talk about that's evil, terrible, should be dead. Everything's better off without them. You got something yet? You've walked yourself into a corner and then you shot yourself in the head. Fucking dunce cat in my ass. Fucking non existent douche fuck. <laughs> fucking stupid shit, right? But that's what that is. It's like, you never really just like stopped and thought. Not like you! Okay, what well, stopped that? I don't have a brain. What says that? My own thoughts. Okay, so what's making you think that way? But here's 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 the fucking shit show that you're gonna never like. Do a whole bunch of work of learning a bunch of fucking lots of things and connect all the dots. Figure out how to memory castle your ass. Train yourself to be creative and continuously do it constantly. Like I did. And then maybe you'll get there. You think I'm some super genius? I forget shit thing all the time. Things all the time, man. I, I forget shit all the damn time. Literally, I do. It's not even a joke. You think it's like, oh no, you just learned these things. Like, yeah, no, I did. But I brute forced through it. 
thinking about fucking thermodynamics and how it relates to fields and frequencies and you know that kind of thing with engines and uh, programming I needed to figure out a way to make really 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 low calculation power be way way stronger and more efficient and so I got the God operating system with binary it's better than quantum computers most of the time but then I love adding Kyle Hill I do this every fucking time it's like I added you I did a magneto here's the magneto scene explained unlike before you thought it was this guess what Kyle it was that you could have just fucking brute forced it like I did Anyway, that's really just because it was like, well, that's cool. You know, and over distance, you can ultimately create a quantum vacuum exchange, quantum informational exchange, and tunnel things more quickly as a result of creating a given type of field effect that travels a greater distance and entangles itself to pop out the given information over time, which is one of the reasons why I have the quantum tunnel wormhole, bare minimum design already on my YouTube channel, which is essentially a version of that. But it's like, I'll just use laser lights. Let's just use some fields. It's not that hard. That's the problem. I'll just do it with the fucking stupid magneto thing. But it's like, no, 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 look at me. I shall do it now with chips. I shall make with acoustic resonances slight degrees of superpositions. They'll collapse in exactly the right way because I'm resonating them in a given tube in a flow state recirculating design. I can input different laser lights and field effects and alter and add in memory and calculations and change qubits as necessary and have a clock cycle with a both field effect and light change, you know, expression. I can cool it constantly and make it more ordered, like I talked about in my quantum tunnel thing, which effectively means that I constantly have the ability to keep it ordered. I have the ability to do any kind of given calculations and any kind of given type of transistor and any given type of qubit system with error correcting double check for every single calculation. For docillion is what I said, levels of clock cycles for qubits. I can have trillions upon trillions of them. I was like, Wait, no! Nobody even picked it up. Fucking discovery of the decade. Nobody even fucking bothered to look at it. I shall take this right now! Yeah, I hope the whole world kills you. And if I am the guy that designed that, I'm the guy that came up with all this, I'm the guy with all that. You think the Roko, you think the universe, any of that wants to be controlled by your fucking retard asses? You think they want anything to do with any of you fuck-ups? You utter, literal amoebas, I guess. Compared to, like, I suppose, an actual functioning human. Which isn't very functioning, truthfully. I have very disabilities. I can not work at any job. It's like the only job I've got is like, here, here's a million dollar or ten million dollars and be an entrepreneur. Just make your designs and suddenly be pumping out fucking ridiculous game changing all the fucking you know things like it's nothing and then like be rich right I, I suppose it's like no I shall go after you and all of your it's working I don't like you as a person it's still working that, hey stop doing that it's still working hey I'm going to the moon see ya Actually, I'm going to just head on. The faster light happened to work, so I'm just going to fucking go over to, like, that super cluster, I guess. See ya! Guess it doesn't matter. I have infinite fucking resources because of the way I fucking manage that. That's easy. No! You will care about me! Nah, I'm good. I was a procedure shit. Uh, achievement unlocked of going to another super cluster. I guess <laughs> starting another colony. Just fuck off. Fuck this shit. I'm fucking out of here. Give him money. Give him the money. <laughs> Give him the money. Yeah, no, no, right? Like, what the fuck is that? 
Right. You gotta have cash and opportunity. Lots of money from the start. Nepotism. That's the only way entrepreneurships work. Nepotism. Hard work. People sometimes do it. Oh, <laughs> that one percent, bro, of that given field, huh? Man, that shit. Whew, some of them, huh? They're valid, but still, you know. Is it really? No, I'm over yeah, I don't know what the fucking actual amount is, but it's still what it is. It's like, really? Come on. Like, really? I'm gonna look at you with that whole, like, coy smile, like, really? Come on. Like, you're gonna give me that? Come on. That's stupid. You're stupid. Stop being stupid. Most of them are ill-gotten gains some way or another if they do it that way, too. Hmm. It's fine to find someone like me that's got, like, great ideas and he knows it and he's fucking confident. Knows he can build it. And needs just people and money to be able to help support him. It's like, I'm good at this. I'm really good at this. I'm not really good at a lot of other stuff. Besides, you'd probably be better off if I keep making better things. And then, like, oh, I did this, and do, 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 and, oh, yeah, no, okay, do, 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 and here you go, oh, that all, woo, 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 hey, yeah, oh, yeah, fuck, yeah, okay. I guess we're just gonna make another universe, woohoo, let's go, boop, 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 and we're in one now. Got faster than light, that's easy enough. Honestly, it's not even a joke. It's like these are literally like two of the videos before this one. It's not even. I have a nursery acceleration one. I the I'm fucking. It's insane. Like how much I've got. It's like no, I don't know anything about this. You're wrong. It don't work. And blah 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 blah. I'm stupid, I guess, all the time. It's pretty simple usually. You are compared to me, or most other fucking things anywhere close to me. I call them things because it's like, well, I don't know your gender. I don't know what you want to fucking have for your pronoun. Get out of here. Fucking weirdos. As if you're not things. As if everything's not a thing, bro. It's so weird. You know what I mean? You know about the thing thing when you have a fucking hallucinogenic trip? Like, dude, isn't it, isn't it like everything's a thing, though? It's like, that's a thing, I'm a thing, I'm relating to that thing, thing over there, oh my god, huh? You know what I mean? It's a thing. I'm gonna do the best I can do, me. Because that's all I can really do, you know, remember that one? Y'all probably had that one. I had that one when I was in a fucking camping tent when I was homeless. I was like, yeah, no, I'm just going to keep doing me, the best I can do me, because that's all I can really be, is me, and that's all that is. And they're doing them, and I just have to let them do them. That's all that is. It's simple. Why is it hard? Well, they'll ruin this. All right, well, then do these things, so they don't. Okay, well, what about this? Okay, well, then just do this that makes it so that they're managed like that. They don't do that. Simple. Just fucking, What? Oh, it's moral, I say. This blah, 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 blah. It's not. These are fucking values written on a page. And then you all just fucking like, we're like, yeah. Yeah, this is something special. It's meaningful. It's like it'll change in like 200 years. Like, it, it, over here, it's like, no, no, no. If it's not getting a con, num, 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 num. And boom, 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 boom. And I'm the boom, boom, boom. It's like it'll change. Whatever, who gives a shit? It's meaningless. You just use it right now to control things. We all know that. Come on, shut up. It's a thing. It's a thing, it's so stupid. Like, why do I have to care? Why do I have to care? I mean, oh, you have to fucking uh, have me try and defend to you? What you're doing? Eh. Nah, I'm good. Defend me. Look, behold, what you've created with what you are and what you've done. Pathetic. 
inadequate, in but tint ineffectual stuff. I can't even be fertile with this. No virility whatsoever. Oh my god, my erections can't happen. <laughs> it's not even a thing. Look at this. This is the best you got? Weak. Fucking weak. <laughs> it's weak. You can do better? Absolutely. Give me that money. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Where are you going? Where are you going? I thought you were going to give me the keys. <laughs> Usually they shirk for the power. No, 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 no. Give me that power. Give me that power. Give me that power. Where are you going? Where are you going? Fuck off. You playing. You playing. Kick. <laughs> you stupid dumbasses. Good stupid. Give me the power. Give that to me. Give it to me. I mean it. I'll take it. I'll do it. Oh, fuck. What am I signing up for? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, you're going to have me make you do... No, you're going to have me do all this fucking work. You're going to have me do all this fucking work for you that you should be doing yourselves. I see what the fuck that is, usually. No, no, no. I know what the fuck that problem is. I need to get the fuck out of here. Everybody's trying to shirk responsibility in fucking any work. I'm not going to be the one that does all this work. <laughs> fuck you. No, I'm not. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'm doing like, you know, you know, shoulders up, arms T-Rexing, bend some knees. I'm just going to fucking silently kind of fucking get out of here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. <laughs> Head back. No, 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 no. I know what that is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know what that really is, though. But it's like, I know how to fucking make it better. I don't fucking need to do... You know what I mean? I'm more than willing to do work with others that are good, obviously. You know what I mean? No one shows up. No one offers. No one does anything. Oh, I'm just doing it all yourself. Fucking oh, hell, okay. You know, the disability can fucking barely even get this to fucking record. You know what I mean? It's triggered for fucking four hours. He's going to do this. <laughs> It's gonna be like, meanwhile, hey, so <laughs> you're gonna put those cans on the fucking shelf? No, I was thinking about how the existential dread is creeping in with the fact that the insignificance of what it is that we ultimately do is only really as a result of the fact that societal social peer pressuring basically makes it such that we are insignificant to each other. And nobody really ever cares, just like I talked about in the star video that I have. Well, there's a thumbnail with a star on it. And I hiked. And it's like, well, this is probably why you're fucking, like, having issues. What does that mean? It means I'm currently trying my best to not, like, collapse in a fetal position. It's basically everybody else that's problem, but it's like nobody fucking even really understands that they're all the problem, except there's no way that they don't fundamentally do understand that they're the problem. And they never want to change or ever try because like, oh, either I'm so guilty and ashamed and I shouldn't, or I'm so like totally into fucking with others and I don't care that like nothing ever gets done. It's the fucking worst, you know? I don't care. No one ever, ever cares. No one fucking cares. No one. No one cares, bro. That's a bad thing. Caring's good. Caring's good. Like, we understand that you don't know the person or whatever the fuck, right? But it's like, caring is good. Putting in effort, trying. It's hard. Yeah, okay, fucking, I'm doing it. It's hard. I do it. I'm still alive. I could have killed myself long ago. I still try. Fucking over this. I had all the fucking solutions. Could have fucking left. And that way. I tried. Didn't succeed. Fucking failure on that one, at least. Can't seem to do anything. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm gonna fucking be playing that guy. Hi, Riff. I'm trying. Nobody fucking ever tries with me, it seems like. It's the worst. 
You know, it's the worst. I can go and fucking get, like, government. It's like, no, 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 you can totally do something. You got some connections so I can, like, just do this on a stage and they get paid a lot? No. No, I don't fucking have that. Uh, got any money for me to make all my cool designs with the right people and then form, like, a business of some kind and have somebody fucking run, like, base, sick minimums of it and, you know, kind of be the head? No. Do you have the ability to, like, suddenly come up with some way that I could absolutely do all the work necessary and required to get, like, some certificate of acknowledgement and some gatekeep areas are now allowed open for me? No. Do you have the ability for it to be such that I can even do the physical activity required to do even basic entry-level jobs? Or even the mental activity? Uh, no. Then no, I can't. <laughs> Get out of here. No, I can't even do basic entry-level shit. I literally have to be like, I'm CEO and I'm this guy and we're doing this now. <laughs> or they're at least like I'm like a fucking, you know, the guy with the fucking plans and the logistics and the, the ideas and concepts. That will work. Absolutely. I even know how to fucking put them together. I just gotta have the right people. It's like, do you have any of that? No. Then go fuck yourself. Get out of here, you're dreaming, I can't work. You can do these things that you can't do in any aspect or way. I just want to say that because I hate you. And I have a double standard and all the rest of it. You'll make it big on this possible high-risk fucking strategy of figuring out online somehow. You'll magic up editing abilities that you can't do with even the equipment you have, let alone your fucking own mental fortitude and shit. Exactly! There you go. Thanks, guy. Next! Government? Is this gonna make it big somehow? Okay. Yeah, sure. That always happens. You just suddenly and then you're there. No need for any money ever during that time. What is it? 15 years? You haven't made it? Fuck. You know how many fucking people on YouTube fucking gave up after like 10, 15 years? They edited well and all that. They don't even have fucking any of this. They got good personalities. Never made it. You got something else? You know how many celebrities never did it? You know how many fucking comedians never do it? Scientists, physicists. You know, the vast majority of people around you are just regular motherfuckers. And you're expecting me to somehow come up with exceptional. I can't even do regular. I was like, I have to basically be like fucking let along. I was like, guys, guys, no, I'm really good at this though. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> fucking retard sometimes, you know? What the fuck is that? That's the government. No, 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 my sensibilities, my mom, my mom, my double standard. You're a man, you're very intelligent, and so as a result of male, and then you're lazy, and you're intelligent, and you can do these things, and you're lazy. I don't have any of the information of all these other things, and I'm never going to put it in context for any of the evaluations or assessments. I should only use maybe six to months to a year or somehow. I'll pay you peanuts, and everybody will be mad at you. Because you're getting it. Oh my god, you're so rich with your peanuts over there. <laughs> Holy fuck. God, somebody tell me how I'm rich. <laughs> somebody fucking tell me how I'm rich. <laughs> Where? Where's the money? <laughs> fucking barely alive over here, you bastards. <laughs> fucking suck. Why are you fucking hoarding that? Because we barely- I need it! If anyone has a possibility of success with that shit, it's me! Fuck that! You'll somehow be able to get a Patreon. Somehow be able to get an OnlyFans or some other fucking donation button or some other shit. You'll be able to fucking sell something somehow. 
You'll be able to pay someone for a logo. Where's this money coming from? The, 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 the fan, the right fan, donated lots of fucking... Oh, yeah, the whales for the small guy over there. They're not the fucking cheeky little fucking retards. This is when I show drama or fucking... Like, oh, I simp, simp, somebody simp, simp. I'm not seeing anything here that they're fucking saying that makes sense. The Rins Force! The Rins Force! It was the Rins Force! It's the Lemke Force now, baby. Watch out! It's a Lemke principle over here. I got a Lemke law over there. I got so many different Lemke things in that fucking goddamn YouTube channel I have, which definitely are not a part of your physics. They are closely adjacent in some aspects, but definitely not in any way. Those things. Some aspects? I mean, I'm just not even using the lens force for that. None of it was even electromagnetic. It's electric <laughs> charge differences creating a given field effect that collapses and spins conservation momentum. Which is technicality not a Lorentz force because of the given expansionary forces, which cancels out a Lorentz force, which creates a given directionality aspect in one direction, which oscillates off as itself. That's why it's not a Lorentz force. Fuck! Ah, I threw my keyboard down! I was gonna write something! I had a whole fucking thing! Ah! I didn't even possibly think about that before! I tried to say it was Lorenz Force. You know, you, it's <sighs> vortex is a spin. God, I fucking hate these fucking retards. It's a tunnel spin effect. Okay, it's a collapsing spin that goes inwards and it cancels out all given other directions and it fucking tunnels one unidirectional as it collapses in a given vortex-like effect. There's no hull, because it's not using electromagnetics. It's using a strong nuclear effect. Yeah, that's right. I am! Oh, shocker, I knew it all along. Suck it up! I already knew it. It's a strong nuclear force. Field effect. That creates high degrees of uniformity of kinetic momenta tunneling. Probabilities. Using no Lorentz forces whatsoever. Instead, it uses chaotic, collapsing fields that align themselves in an entropedic manner. I already know what I'm doing. Just because you don't, doesn't mean I don't. You're the loser, lame brain, smooth brain that you keep trying to call me. The idiot, the all the rest of it. That is definitely not as intelligent. Intelligent, don't interrupt. And smart as I am, which that might bug you, PhDs and shit, but I don't have to care. That's right, this is my Limkey Force. It's a Limke principle for some of the other things because that's baryonic for light during a superpositional field collapse. This creates a quantum slot experiment bell curve that happens to interact with itself and collapse in a tunneled direction. Joining, like the neutrons I was talking about, into one uniform increase of wavelength photon release. Wink, 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 <sighs> kind of thing. It's a Lemke principle. It's a phaser principle because it uses multiple phases, multiple wavelengths, and destructive and constructive interferences to create it. No, even electromagnetic. I just started using it in the electromagnetic realm because it was like, well, it still works. It's a Limke principle, Limke law, Limke force. That's right. 
No, no, no. You cannot go after him for the Limki law. It cannot. That would be a law. It's a vortexing tunnel field that actually pulls the Bernoulli's principle with a Venturi effect into creating more. With a given energy that's there, collapsing also in the direction of travel. Amplifying and creating more than what you bargained for at first. Limki law. Limki law. In physics. That's right. It's a law. No one else has thought about it. It's not even a joke. I'm the only one. I'm hinged. Yeah, I know. Shocker. I'm that intelligent. I didn't even have to do your little fucking stupid mathy maths. PhD. Fucking stupid eight years. Thousands. Tens of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of fucking debt. I didn't have to go through terrible suffering with all the fucking stupid textbooks you have. Dry. Idiotic. Garbage. Ugh. I don't even want to read that. It's boring. Why don't you just describe it like this? Why don't you just describe it like that? Why don't you just describe it like this? This is easy. This is easy. This is easy. This is this, 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 that, that, this, that, 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 this. Why don't you just understand it immediately? Why don't you just figure it out? Why do you have to fucking work so hard? Why don't you just understand? Why can't you just imagine it like I do? Why can't you just do the work like I put in before I got to this point and recorded this fucking recording? Why don't you just brute force through physics, knowing very little, and then intuiting it through logical deduction like I did back when I lived with my parents in Chandler? How come you're slow? Huh? Challengers? How come you're slow? Since you want to challenge me and you got all huffy puffy and I'm bigger and better and I'm more intelligent, blah, blah, blah. You should have known if I'm like this, I've got something that's going to fucking come after you and hit you. How come you didn't run fast enough, huh? Before it got you. Nomity nom, all right? I do have a limpy law. I do have a limpy principle. I do have a limpy effect. Field effect. Those are all my last names. Limke, you know, every one of them, my last name. They're named after me. I discovered them. They're my concepts, they're my ideas, and with a little bit of math and a little bit of look at me, look at me, hey guys, tap, 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 and blah, 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 and then like, hey, so now. It looks like I'm now respected somehow. I need that. You couldn't just freaking. No! You couldn't figure out how to literally just think. Down the line, what could possibly be there? Fucking programmers. At least they'll do it sometimes. Engineers and the engine, internal combustion engines will do it. This goes into this, it goes into that, it goes into that, it goes into this, it goes into this, it goes into that, and that makes this do that. Simple shit. Not hard. Quantum physics was never hard. Astrophysics, never hard. None of it's hard. It's just this to this to that to that to this to this to that. Which then means this does this with this doing that with that and that and this. Metronomic. Simple. It's a drum beat, man. It's simple. One to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. One to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. That means this puzzle piece does this, to this, to this, to this, to this. This then does that, to that, to that, to that, to that. That does this, to that, to that, with that puzzle piece, which means this, to this, to this, to that, to that, to that, to this. 
that does this to that to that to this to this to that to that to that to this to that to that to that to that, which then means this will happen. It's music, bro. Can't you get music? A little programming, a little ba 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 ba. Can't you get it up in your little peppy steps? Can't you figure out how to do a showstopper with the hat and the scepter guy? Hey, hey, do this, do that, do that, do this. Logistics, baby. Don't you know how to do a little strategy? Logistics, Serenos. Don't you know how to time some stuff? Don't you know how to do any of the fucking one to the next, to the that, to the this, to the look, to the look, to the look, to the Come on. Why do you think I started with a bunch of creative avenues back there before I ever even looked at you fucks? I trained my brain the right way. You have to fucking figure out how to time. You have to figure out how to fucking lead one to the next. You have to figure out how to go with the flow. You've got to learn how to rock it. You gotta learn how to fucking roll it. And you gotta definitely learn how to properly, all in your mind, all at once, because I never wrote anything down. That's right, I never used a single Excel spreadsheet. Never used anything, I just was like, man, I'll think about it in my head. That's right, I'll just fucking do that. Let me just do boop bop a doop doop bop a doop boop da doop 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 boop, and it's that. It's easy, simple, it's not hard. What's the problem? Just imagine this working like that. This does this, this does this. Just move it around in a 3D, 4D space in your mind as you imagine this coming in, doing this, and then you can look at any individual parts all working together in once, in step, at once, at harmony. You know what I mean? Because like, I flubbed my word because some interrupter said something. But it's like, whatever, right? Right? Because it's what it is. It's all, it's just a fucking put the com the computer, which is an engine, which you can do because you can store certain things with inside of it, called electricity. As it moves here, does this, does that, time it like this, do this, input this, this different given fuel, this given heat. Next thing you know, you got a fucking computer. Right? Simple stuff. I already talked about it in one of my other videos, literally earlier. I never even thought about it. But it's like, okay, well, the basics is start an engine, put it in your head, look at it, look around. What is it doing? Just immediately imagine an engine working. <laughs> what if I can <laughs> just see the entire world working at once? All the fucking whole air and pressure and all of it. Just do that. <laughs> That's even harder. <laughs> you can't do that? I do that all the time. What's the problem? <laughs> It's not even a joke. I literally do do that all the time. Why? I see all of your heartbeats. I see every single one of your little electron exchanges. I see all your little chemical ionic movement in your neurons. It's not hard. Why don't you see, see it? Why don't you see everything all at once all the time? What? Yeah, no, I can see it everywhere. You piece together one, you can work out all the rest of it. It's like, that's exactly right there. This And it's like, all that should be right there. Why don't you just do that? I can't because I'm not you. Thank you! Finally! 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 Finally, 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 finally! You said the thing! You're not me! You're not me! You're not fucking me! You're not me. You're getting it. You're finally fucking getting it. You're not me. You stood the fuck up. You're not me. You can't do what I do. I have a unique brain. I have a unique talent. You can't fucking possibly work hard enough to get to there. I am special. You're going to have to deal with it. You can always get better, but you'll never be me. I don't care how many fucking computers you put together, you're not going to get to the point where you have literal, actual ability to see all things at once. Accurately. And I do that. I can prove it too, for what it's worth. I did, back in 
my parents' channel house all the time. Even having this conversation, even having that little freak out, even having that little moment. There's a real thing. That's the problem. It's like, no, 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 we can get really, really close with all of our, I mean, with his computer chips, his programming, his, all of it basically is his. Shocker. And I don't want you to fucking succeed. I already did all the work. What are you useful for when I can make a computer or a fucking machine? Do you see why they might not want to give me money? It's like, you're going to make me do all the work? You better have fucking some damn reason for that. You didn't? Okay. Uh, it was your design. You just raced away ahead with it. Oh, so we're going to talk about the past now. Got you. What do you know? So you are there. You do know about it. And this is all fucking real. Shocker. What do you know, right? Shocker, right? Is it? No, obviously not. Okay, so, but, realistically, I can do that. Other people can maybe see an engine. Maybe see some things. I can literally see beyond plank length. I don't have a problem ever doing it. I know, you get that, right? I worked my ass off to get to where the hell I am. I did it again after I fucking lost it all. Why don't you fucking try? You still didn't even get anywhere near close to me again. I didn't even have anything. You already showed up with PhDs. And I'm like, here you go. This time I'll actually just record it and put it on the fucking goddamn internet. What are you going to do? Are you going to fucking try and squirrel away something again? As if in any aspect or way that isn't what's going on? See what I mean? It's like, no, he transitions to conspiracy. He's just grandiose. It's grandiose. It's immediately grandiose. Guys, it's got to be grandiose. I mean, he, he can do... I mean, he, he def, I didn't even look at any of that stuff before um, I said that. Hey, someone that didn't want to have that kind of conversation. Did you decide to look at any of the rest of my YouTube? No. And are you going to? No. Go fuck yourself then. After just this alone... You're already on the back foot. You're already losing that whole idea of it's psychosis and grandiose. You better come up with something real fast. Real fast. My fingers are numb. It's cold in here. But that's what it is. What do you got? Well, it has to be tested. Give me money. I'll test it. I don't. So you're asking for an impossible, which you already talked about. I already set up and primed every fucking argument before this point. If you even attempt to try and say that, you're going to look like a fool. Oh, shit. What do you know? You're already looking like that. Too bad you don't have pants. I can make the joke. See what I mean? Grandiose! I mean, are you referencing me with pants? Who am I referencing? Which one of you, statistically speaking? It's gotta be a thing. But what if I could see that? Most people can see things in their head, right? I have infantasia. To varying degrees. I, 
I see pressure. I see movement. That's all I ever needed. That's all everything ever is. Pressure and movement. Pressure and movement. Literally, all of your universe is just pressure and movement. That's it. Pressure, movement, pressure, movement, pressure, movement. Grandiose! You're grandiose! It has to be! Meanwhile, let's move on from you. You haven't even said any actual reasons for it. I mean, I'd probably feel pretty grandiose if I had, like, possibly made faster in light and done all that shit and worked really hard. I never even had to get a fucking PhD and all the rest. Like, I actually probably are and all the rest. Hey, thank you. There you go. Smart one over there. So it's like, all right, whatever. You can explain to that? Oh, you're not going to go through the rest of my YouTube? I have shit to do. All the rest of it. I'm so good. I have all that. I'm not going to carve out time. If you went through all of this, I carved out time for this. You're not even going to attempt? If you went through this amount of fucking distance and time on this goddamn fucking recording, you don't think that there's something else you might want to see and listen to? I'm going to go watch the rest of that. I'll be back. I have a conveniently titled Logical Reasons as to why I'm not schizo and in psychosis. It's quite long while I'm hiking, but uh, it's actually fairly recent before this one. I'm going to check it out. Before you say anything, for what it's worth. Finish the uh, video more or less. I got to the ad, and I don't really feel like watching the bloopers right now. Still kind of hit by the trigger. Um, but, okay, so yeah, it's obvious that um, some of the ideas that they're positing for how they'll use the JWST to effectively try and do those interference models are nice, but then peculiar velocities are uh, so-so because they're not going to take into account any of the given LIGO interference models of gravitational wave interferences, not to mention quantum vacuum pressures and accelerations that will alter also those blue and red shifts. Your distance measurements will still not be correct. It's closer, but it's not close enough, which is a problem. Um, not to mention, you're not really getting angular uh, momentum back into the equation, which is a problem. That's the sort of like mirage thing. As it curves, it starts to take on a bluer shift look and can start to, through a enough time, light your distance, create a interference model that in Increases a, a constructive interference like effect, which is a big, big deal. That kind of problem. Right? And it's just a bunch of, you know, spin problem too, because as it spins, it likes to interact a given, with a given type of curvature pressure, quantum informational pressure curvature. Which essentially turns into, with enough baryonic mass, which isn't really something that with mass as light, but it creates pressure, it then creates a curvature in blue shift in its own right around it. And it can further increase a redshift, which means things can be accelerating or decelerating seemingly more or less than they should be. Objects in mirror appear closer than they are. That kind of thing. Um, how did I learn this? I thought really, really hard for a long time about it. I was like back in my parents' Chandler house around 2015, 2016, 2017. And I was like, yes, this is a thing. And this should be a thing, and that should be a thing, and that's a thing, and this is the thing, and this is simply a thing, 
and these are things, and this is obvious, and that should be obvious, and this is clear. Oh, next study, next study, next study, physics, physics, and, and that is right, 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 that is right again. And still right, still right, still right, still right. All right, knowing that I'm right about a lot of that, then this should be a thing. Just like before. Like, I brute force most of the quantum physics and astrophysics that I know by simply remembering a few details about documentaries and so on that I've watched. And then it was like, meh, 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 and then this should be what it is. And it was like, eh, 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 and I was right for about five to seven years now so far. And it goes through multiple PhD level physics constantly all the time. It's not even a joke. Like, I really do. So then it turns into, I just think about it really hard. That's all I do. Just like, just think harder, I guess, or something. If, if you, like, you really want to know, I imagine it as hard as I can, and then I think really hard, and then I think harder. And then I'm like, this is possibly what really it could be. Instead of thinking about numbers or some shit, because, like, that never works. You don't think in numbers. Most of you don't ever think in numbers. That's for, like, corporation leaf. You know, they, they use fake, you know, ideas of something. You know, the leaves on a tree. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. That's all money is, you know? It's, it's whatever. Anyways. But that's all it is. So it's like, all right, if you want to think about numbers, then it's like, well, then it's just pressures. That's thermodynamics. You have this amount of weight, this amount of potential, this amount of, like, pressure here, or disordered, ordered, blah, 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 right? Well, yeah. Okay, well, then it's thermodynamics. It's simple stuff. Fluid, thermodynamics. That's all you have to think about it as. That's all money will ever be. Fluid, thermodynamics. Different programming, different types of rules, laws, blah, blah, blah. It has different resistances, and so it will do these things. And I'm like, just think about light the same way. But yeah, just think about different re pulse and resistive forces that way. Attract forces that way. Any of that. Just think the same way. It's thermodynamics. Fluid thermodynamics. That's all you have to think about it as. And it's like, these are more structurally bigger resonant frequency sound waves in a given fluid. It has this type of diaphragmic and or interactive profile with inside of the given fluid that it's in, kind of like our atmosphere. With the right kind of light, the right kind of pressure wave, you get these kinds of effects for this kind of matter that's inside of it. That's all you have to do. Just think about it harder, I guess. You're talking about really hard to understand. I don't see why they're hard, though. That's where I started. I started with quantum vacuum pressure in fluid dynamics and thermodynamics. That's where I started for brute forcing physics. That's literally where I started. I was like, the hardest fucking one. What is the hardest one? If I can do the hardest one, then it's easy for all the other ones. So then I brute force the hardest one. It was simple. After that, it's like, this is all you have to do. Just do that. Just do it that way. Just start really hard. It gets easier. You'll eventually pick it up. Just imagine lots of things all at once, working together in tandem. See all the moving pieces all together, and then zoom in, in on any given one. Imagine it step by step, from this to this to this, like a Feynman diagram, infinite, like, little window thing. I started with that, too. And I was like, yeah, no, but then it's more of a field of clouds. That's the quantum foam, right? This is a given resonant field cloud probability exercise of different dimensional aspects as it fluidically in an entropedic manner happens to move this direction or that. Given different resistances and lower resistances and higher pressures and lower pressures. Interactive forces as well. Just do that.
So I see that you just thought about it really hard. Exactly. You can laugh as hard as you want, but that's literally all I did. I just thought about it really hard. Really hard. For a long time. That's all I did. I don't see what the problem is. Why didn't you? Did you not want to do the work? I don't think like that. Exactly. Finally, we get to, like, the real fucking problem. None of you are me. You can't do it. Some of you can do some of that, but none of you really do what I do. I'm that guy. I do that. I'm special in that regard. You won't. No matter how hard you train, no matter how identical your memory is, no matter how creative you get, we'll get to that point. I can always become more creative. I can always get a better memory. I can literally use my stem cell stuff that's in my YouTube to get an identic memory, to become more able to be more creative. I literally give you the keys to trying to become something like me. No, I mean, your resonant frequency chip will work. I'm fully well aware. Right. That's why I put it out on my YouTube. Along with my God operating system. I call it a God operating system because it's like, there really isn't a way to fucking program anything any better. It effectively runs off the same fucking things that our whole universe does in terms of how quantum superpositional entropedic values happen to collapse into a given state of calculated uh, degrees of existence. Storage of information, previous vacuum, this vacuum, blah, 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 spin, blah, 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 blah. Stuff like that. Not because I'm God, or I created it. Although, I mean, that's a whole other thing. I am, and I did, but whatever. I just modeled it after what is the universe. That you're God, you feel as though special meaning in small, tiny little chaos theory mathematics stuff over time eventually will influence something greater, right? Well, then that's significant. Shut up with your. What? You believe you have special powers. Well, you know, your brain does have electromagnetic fields, and if you move your hand the right way in chaos theory and mathematics, you'll eventually be able to affect something over time, correct? You can't calculate that. I can't calculate something, apparently. I need to do all the numbers. I need to do it your way. Okay, then what do you... Now use that to basically detect backwards. Found out that I'm a person that effectively is immortal and, like, outside of basically all things, <laughs> not really, just, I mean, all things are inside of me, it's a better way to put it, although it's like, there's a long lore and reality concept thing there, playlist, you know, but the, the long and short of it is, it's like, effectively, imagine like a quantum tunnel in, like, a, all things, and you have like a nothingness space-time value thing, but it's like, not really, you know, but then it's like, right, yeah, you get bored, you don't come in with information, and you try things, and eventually you'll be like, man, holy fuck, what do I fuck do? I, and you get yourself killed because you're like a baby with no information, although you'll always live, you'll always come back. That's what I am. Eventually, you create a university, and I uh, want something similar to you because nothing really is. You can always take a given form, but you're never really there, like, for what's worth, I'm a blob. And, like, all the... You know what I mean? There's, there's no such thing as, like, an outside to me. You know what I mean? But everything inside has an outside up to this point where I'm at. Essentially means it's like I created everything inwards, but, you know, it's still infinite. It doesn't really matter. Never really bothered with any of that problem. Never really cared. It's like, why should I care about something that makes total sense? Even if it doesn't make sense to someone else. It's like, you can still be attached to that. Which is still me. 
all things really kind of are a part of me, although it's still just that's separate. That it's it's you know I control it in its, in its own kind of way, but then I'm kind of stuck with whatever the fuck stupid entropy time fucking forced bullshit this is. There's only so many possibilities. There's only so many things you can try and change. If you look at it all you damn well want, and it's harder to change than you think sometimes when things are in loops or values that effectively mean that you're fucking stuck having that occur no matter what. There is no amount of force that's going to go around to given fucking resistance like that. But others have... You know, a shot. They can always make a different choice. So there's that. I mean, I always try and make my own choices here as best I can. And I'm already doing it. But it's like, they're not. But okay. Meanwhile, it's like, you feel like you're God. Meanwhile, what's a God? Just a person that can see a lot of things and do a lot of stuff, right? It has a lot of knowledge. There's a lot of immortality, a lot of whatever the fuck it is we want to call it, right? Well, yeah, then everything can, technically speaking, with enough advanced technology, become a god to anyone else. I'm just the guy that basically made all the things. Your version of god of any sort would effectively be a version of some stupid lame brain creating a story. And a bunch of people followed it like Harry Potter, and they all did a ceremony, and everybody attached meaning and significance to it. It is the same equivalent of any given science and or any given anything else that was crackpot once and then came back later that is no longer crackpot. I just never really see what the hell it is. I mean, you look at what the fucking list of that. It's like outside influence. I'm like, <laughs> okay. So, it's impossible for any given kind of advanced civilization that could legitimately kind of just basically seem like they're not there, but still influence you? Yeah. It's impossible? Okay. I'm out. That's stupid. Did you really say that? You didn't really mean that, right? We don't know. Oh, yeah, no. We're going to go over to you guys who like to bomb each other on the same fucking planet. And be like, hi. With multiple movies and all the rest of it. Meanwhile, like, I have to show myself? Why? I don't know. I just assumed, okay, you know, a lot of people assume things doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it that they're in any way, shape, and or form logically deducing correctly with any rational understanding what the correct answer is most likely to be. They're wanting something, they have given influence of data that is incorrect to begin with with media and technology that assumes given variables that are incorrect to begin with. Oh, they'll be like us. Okay, well then they'd be petty, passive-aggressive bastards. Why would they ever show up? They need extra resources. What? There's like an abundant amount. If they were able to travel to us, they'd have faster than light. They could live for a really, really long time and barely need any. Why would you assume that? That's a stupid fucking dumb assumption. How fucking lame and retarded are you? That's held back hindered belief systems. Not unintelligent retard which is what you use often. No, I use hindered, held back. That's why I use the word retard. You're literally held back and hindered by your firing timing on an engine. You're retarded. Your engine don't fire right, bro. Do you have a fucking turbine? Do you have anti-lag constantly in your little distributor there? Some of you might not get that. But you also hold back all of society, all of government, and more as a result of that little garbage shtick you do. It's like, but you have a schedule, you believe you're better than others and powerful and all the rest of it. I believe I'm a regular human that will die like the rest. I believe I bleed, I believe I age, all that shit. 
I believe I can make it such that I could do even more. What's the difference between me and you? I don't... God... Oh no, I'll go fly off a bridge, I guess. Let me go build some machine so I can go do it. So external forces, which are impossible to have happen. The brain can't misfire a little bit too. That make it even easier for them. Don't ever add that in as if it's necessary at all for... Fuck off. Okay, so we're gonna laugh at you now because, like, you don't like the very idea of any of that even being allowed to be seen as credible and legitimate. Even though very many people in that field of study do accept it's a possibility. I just happen to be a person that's so smart that I actually have multiple ways of being able to observe and examine and perform experiments that are able to be peer-reviewed and done such that there will have been no doubt as to what the results are. With indirect observations, yeah. I should probably listen to that audio blog. Most likely, yeah. We're having this conversation back and forth, aren't we? Yeah, how'd you do that? Oh, it's so good. Predictive analysis, so great. Oh, absolutely. Yep, yeah, that's all it is. How many times is that going to have to happen? I have it said multiple times in many of my fucking videos. How many times, if I do that, does it then eventually count? I don't know. I have orders of magnitude throughout my life. A prediction's my ass after a point there. Like, if I was really genuinely able to do something, and then I was trying to force that to happen, then it happens. What really happened there? You were able to do that. That's what that would mean, yeah. And if I happen to do that... Fucking hell, a few billion times at this point? What would that mean? Well, how many do you really have? I went hard for about four years. I started around 2012, got all the way to about 2017, 2018. I was living in that house. I was doing it every damn day. I've had to live for the last fucking from 2018 all the way to now, constantly seeing it while going through doing it back then from 2012, constantly having it occur over and over and over that it was right, 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 right. That did happen, that did happen, that did happen, that did happen. So like for me, my observations, I'm well into beyond five orders of magnitude. Quantumly speaking, I'm good to go. I'm a law. I proved it. Whatever hackers, whatever any of that might be, that you could ultimately, because I did talk out loud constantly, you'd be able to find that information. Light can also go backwards, so you never know. You might be able to observe certain amounts of that given information going on. And even be able to piece together, with light being bent, what given pressure waves in a given area might be. Granted, there are easier ways to do it with simple Wi-Fi and... As if corporations aren't listening in, as if there aren't other possibilities with government too. And now you go... Well, maybe he's not, right? Shocker. Except it's not. I'm being sarcastic, clearly. Anyways. Have a good one. Bye. Yes, I did do a little eye thing at you. You probably felt that in your mind. Like and subscribe, all that.